So you're saying there were some times when people were focused on themselves more than the team in the past? Um, no, I mean, yeah, but that's the um, feedback we got back from a lot of the older guys last year yeah. and uh, years before. Why'd you kick it? Why'd you come here? I mean, I, I grew up in Cincinnati. I mean, I was a Buckeye um, since I could remember what football was. Can you just get us just a little closer to the mic line? Gotcha. You got with your head and wanted to be going into your third year tag, right? It seems like you had got some positive momentum in your life as Urban used to say. Um, s satisfied? I don't think. I don't think. See, I'm a guy that's really hard on themselves. I, I like to say that it's good. Like, I'm, I'm pushing myself every single day. I'm trying to be better no matter what. The moment you get um, complacent, um, that's when, you know, shit hits the fan. So... I try to push myself every day. Whenever anything is going good, I just tell myself it could be better. There's always something to fix. What's the competition at right now? Do you feel like you're in line to start the opener? Um, I, that's up to coach. Uh, but how do you feel about the competition? What can you say? Uh, I feel good about the competition because I know that um, it made me better. It made me a better football player. Competing against um, a guy as talented as Carson um, pushed me to be um, as good as I am right now. How much has it helped you this preseason to be able to just focus on playing guards? Um, it, it, it helped a lot. It, it helped a lot. And I mean, guys like uh, Mike Seleni and uh, Coach Drev, Coach Fry, I mean, it helped a lot just being able to have one target to focus on. What do you enjoy? What would you feel if you did have to slide up the tackle again at some point? I mean, whatever the team needs, I mean, you got to go do it. I mean, if you haven't got any snaps at all, if you ask me to do something, I, to win a game, I mean, I'd go do it for the team. What do you enjoy the most about lining up against a guy like Hero Kadu? Um, he plays hard. He plays hard. I mean, you you can what you feel from this team, especially this defensive line, is they're playing for something. Everyone's playing for their family. Everyone's playing for this team. Everyone's playing for something. And a guy like Hero, he plays he plays for um, his family. I, I can tell you that much. When you look at your the way you're playing right now, what do you think you're doing best? Where do you feel you've sort of earned your stride? Um, I'm, I'm always asking questions. I'm always trying to grow. I'm always trying to improve. I'm always trying to just gain an extra net, uh, extra inch. Tigger, what do you think? This winter and summer and the labor, what do you feel like you've made the uh, I made the, best, the biggest jump um, in the meeting room. I mean, I'm... Like I said, I'm asking questions. I'm always looking for a way to be better. I'm, I try to uh, bug Coach Fry, try to bug Mike. So, um, you know, hey, what can I do here? Is this is this the right thing to do? What uh, look is this? And you know, just trying to improve in my um, you know game knowledge. Do you think that you're asking better questions? Were you not asking questions at all? Like just trying to get a feel for like you know what, how you took that jump to now, where you feel like you're asking you know, a lot of questions. And I mean, I, I try to, I try to ask questions as like in depth as I can, and whenever Coach Fry like, try like reels me back, like whoa, whoa, whoa like leave that for those guys over there. Keep the main thing to make that. Right. Yeah. How valuable when you're inquisitive like that? How valuable is a guy like Donovan Jackson to have that to lean on? Oh, like like the older guys we got on this team, it's 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 crazy, like the amount of knowledge that they have, the amount of game knowledge, the amount of just season knowledge. I mean, I, I haven't played a full season yet. I, I haven't played basically more than a half yet. When you when you got guys like Donnie, guys like Josh, you know, that, that helps a crazy amount. Trigger, how much in, in this perceived leap that you're taking and that you've taken, do you attribute to just being more confident? Because, you know, it seems like that plays a pretty major role in not just getting on the field here, but staying on the field here. Yeah, I mean, confidence hasn't really been a problem for me. I mean, I, I, I grew up confident. I, I grew up um, confident in my ability, but, you know, just not trying to guess when your time is, is I guess, where I, I grew a lot. Instead of just letting it happen and doing yeah. what you need to do every day, trying to force it out. You know, oh, it, I had a problem, you know, I used to try to, okay, now is my time. Yeah. And then when it didn't come, it, it's like, now I'm frustrated. Now's my time, and then now it doesn't happen again. And now I'm, I'm at this point to where, like, I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I can help this team win games. Where do you attribute Last that question. peace of mind coming from? Does it come from your teammates? Does it come from just yourself, your family? Where does that 
where does that mind shift come from? Uh, it, it comes from a lot of things. I mean, it comes from watching a film when, you know, things are done right. It comes from Coach Day and Coach Kelly uh, reassuring me like, hey, uh, you can be a really good football player if you, if you keep going in this uh, path that you're going. It, it comes from a lot of places. All right, Tucker, thank you. Appreciate it. Who's your favorite coordinator? It's got to be you, bro. If there was a sandwich eating contest, who'd win it? Me. Because you have.